As part of Japan's historical culture, dashi floats and katakuri puppets have attracted worldwide attention, and every year many tourists visit to see them. There are 34 festivals across the nation featuring dashi floats and katakuri puppets that are nationally designated as important intangible folk cultural properties. Approximately half of them can be seen in the Dragon Rise region. Now we'd like to introduce 16 of the most notable of those festivals. The 400-year-old Ueno Tenjin Festival features nine magnificent Danjiri floats, which are paraded around castle town of Iga Ueno. The festival is like an illustrated historical scroll. The procession is headed by Mikoshi portable shrines and Japan's largest and heaviest Daigohei wooden wand. These are followed by Enno Gyoja ascetics, a samurai known as Chinze Hachiro Tametomo, over a hundred ogres, and finally the Danjiri floats. As night falls, the Danjiri floats are transformed into floats decorated with lit paper lanterns and the festival reaches its zenith. The Wailing Floats of Toride Jinja Shrine is a ceremony unique among Japanese festivals that emulates wailing on land. Dressed up children ride on a dashi float in the shape of a wailing boat, and while dancing to the sound of singing and taiko drums, they act out the story of hunting a whale. As a shrine offering to pray for a good catch and the safety of the village, the whaling boat dashi float acts out the harpooning of a whale. The Ishidori Festival was developed from the stone-bringing ceremony of the Hiyori Festival at Kasuga Shrine. This festival is held in the summer, and about 40 floats are paraded around town. The tataki dashi ritual starts late at night and continues until dawn. The male attendants beat drums and yell all night long, and the noise resounds throughout the town. The Sunari Festival comprises two parts, a Danjiri Boat River Festival and a Shinto ritual known as the Miyoshi Ceremony. This festival has been a tradition for 400 years and people pray for health and a bountiful harvest. The evening festival features makiware boats decorated with paper lanterns. The morning festival features Danjiri boats containing dolls traveling up the Kaniegawa River. The elegance and beauty of these boats is a highlight. Legend has it that when Emperor Jimu made his eastern expedition long ago, he came ashore at this location and to accomplish this at low tide, five carriages were pulled from the ocean to the shore. Dashi floats are decorated with gorgeous ornaments, including delicate carvings, extravagant curtains, mother of pearl, carved red lacquerware reliefs, and cloisonne enamelware. Elaborate katakuri puppets dance magnificently on the dashi floats.
The Dashi floats have been presented since 1653 with the Hon Matsuri Festival and the Ai Matsuri Festival being held in alternating years. During the Hon Matsuri Festival, the Dashi floats are elevated and Dashi Bunraku puppet plays and Karakuri puppet performances are held. In particular, viewers cheer especially loudly when eight men lift the rear of the Dashi float by the shafts using only their own power. During the Ai Matsuri Festival, Dashi decorated with flowers from five towns are dedicated. The Inuyama Festival has been held continuously for about 380 years. Eight meter tall, lavishly decorated Yama floats are paraded around the town of Inuyama Castle, a national treasure. All of the Yama floats carry elaborate Karakuri puppets, which observers watch with great fascination. At night, the Yama floats are decorated with 365 paper lanterns, illuminated using candles to create a magical scene. The Owari Tsushima Tenno Festival is a tradition that has lasted nearly 600 years. During the evening festival, five Makiwara boats, known as Tsushima Gosha, are decorated with lit paper lanterns that beautifully illuminate the Tennogawa River as they float along. During the morning festival, Six Danjiri boats float slowly across the river while music is played on board. A man carrying a cloth-covered pike leaps into the river from the boat. The heroic figure swimming toward Tsushima Shrine is one of the highlights of the festival. This festival started when Hashiba Hideyoshi, who was the lord of Nagahama Castle, gave the townspeople gold dust to celebrate the birth of his oldest son. And the people built a float to be drawn through the town. Of the 13 Hikiyama floats, one is a Kazariyama that was built in the early part of the Edo period and thus has three wheels. The remaining 12, called Geiyama, were built in the latter half of the Edo period and are equipped with lavishly decorated stages upon which children perform Kyogen plays. The Ogaki Festival is said to have started in 1648 when the Hachiman Shrine was rebuilt. Ten towns in Ogaki built ten Yama floats and pulled them around. Later on, Three additional floats were provided by a feudal lord. In 2012, two of the floats that had been missing were reconstructed, and now all 13 of the floats are paraded magnificently around the castle town every early summer. The Takayama festivals is a general term for both the Sanno festival held in spring and the Hachiman Festival held in autumn. Taken together, the festivals are considered one of Japan's three most beautiful festivals. In spring, 12 of the festival Yatai floats, also called Yomeimon, are pulled slowly through the streets. And in autumn, that number changes to 11. Dedication offerings are held for the Karakuri puppets, and then lively performances are held. The puppet masters manipulate the cleverly constructed devices in the Modoshi Gurama float and elsewhere, and it's possible to observe their skilled techniques almost everywhere you look. The Furukawa Festival includes a procession of Mikoshi portable shrines, a stirring taiko drum ceremony, and a procession of nine gorgeous yatai floats.
The Yatai floats are perfect examples of traditional handicrafts and date back 300 years. During the festival, Karakuri puppet performances and kabuki shows performed by children are presented. Viewers can enjoy the contrast between the stateliness of the majestic Yatai floats and the liveliness of the taiko drum performances. The Hikiyama Festival adds a splash of color to spring in Johanna, also known as the Little Kyoto of the Echu region. During the main festival, Mikoshi Portable Shrines, Shishimai Lion Dancers, a Kemboko Staff, Kasaboko Spears, Iori Yatai Floats, and Hikiyama Floats all parade through the town in an ancient rite to welcome back the gods. The haunting strains of the Iori Uta music come from the Iori Yatai floats and the Hikiyama floats, beautifully decorated with Johanna lacquer, bring up the rear of the procession. In the evening, the floats are decorated with paper lanterns, and this creates an air of elegance that contrasts with their appearance during the day. This festival has a history that stretches back more than 300 years. Seven tatemon floats are pulled through the streets to pray for safety at sea and bountiful catches. The tatemon floats have a central pillar that is approximately 16 meters tall, and 90 paper lanterns are hung on crossbars in a triangular arrangement meant to represent the shape of a boat. The climax of the festival is the Kaiten Hono, or turning dedication, in which the Tatemon floats, which weigh five tons, are energetically turned in a circle by the young men pulling them. The lights of the paper lanterns create a beautiful scene as the floats rotate. The origin of Takaoka's Mikuramayama floats is the court carriages that Toyotomi Hideyoshi used when he received Emperor Go Yosei at his mansion, Jorakudai. The floats are said to have been given later to Maeda Toshie, a daimyo lord during the Warring States period, and then given to the people of Takaoka by his successor, Maeda Toshinaga. The floats are representative of the culture of the Azuchi Momoyama period. The seven Mikurumayama floats have been decorated using the superlative techniques of Takaoka's metal workers and lacquer artists and are perfect examples of beauty and refinement. It is said that this festival began in 1473 when Hikiyama floats patterned after Kyoto's Gion Yamahoko floats were presented to the Seihaku Festival, a Noto region festival. The three Hikiyama floats, also known as Dekayama, are said to be Japan's largest at 12 meters tall and weighing about 20 tons. The sight of about 300 people pulling these gigantic floats is impressive and the Tsuji Mawashi cornering technique used in the narrow streets of the town is the highlight of the progression of the Dekayama floats. In each of these festivals, regional traditions are handed down from parents to children to grandchildren, keeping the local culture alive. Dashi floats and Karakuri puppets have been observed with great care as the pride of each region, and we can still see them today. <laughs> 